Hi, long time no hair vlog and also even longer time no hair transformation. I fell into the trap of being too comfortable with my favorite hair color in the world, which is pink. And therefore, I haven't done a hair transformation in so long. I really, really missed it. And I miss showing you guys um, hair transformation videos with my salon, Level 1 Studio. So today I'm here with Mindy and James and they are going to use their artistic magic and we're going to do rainbow hair. I am so excited. I've always wanted to do rainbow hair, but I was always kind of too scared to. Like I didn't know if it was gonna look good on me. So we're going to, of course, as usual, we're gonna touch up my roots first. And then we're going to do the top layer pink and then we're going to transform the bottom half into a pastel rainbow hopefully we don't know how it's gonna go all right so switching over to voiceover now i am going to walk you guys through what we did in this video and i'm super speeding up through the bleaching process because you guys already know what this is about i've been sharing my root retouches with you guys for a while so i'm pretty sure you guys know the drill but if you guys want extreme details on what products and ratios mindy is using to bleach and color my hair pink you can check out my pink hair salon routine video which i did together with her and that should be popping up right now. Then Mindy is dyeing selective parts of my hair pink and as usual she's using the pink Oro color mask mixed with the Diamante Puro conditioner and both are from Fanola and available on salonguys.com. So first Mindy is coloring all of my roots pink and at first I couldn't exactly understand why this was the case. I asked them oh why don't we just color um, you know the rainbow right to the root and our color expert Miju said that it would look better with a pink fading to color otherwise it it would look kind of more like a colored clip-on extension instead. So that was the reasoning behind this. Then since we're doing a rainbow peekaboo, the top layer is going to be pink, so Mindy sectioned off and clipped away the top portion that will be colored pink later on. Then for colors that are opposite of my current warm tone, like the greens and the blues, Mindy is toning these sections to be cooler. And after adding the toner, she is wrapping it in foil so that it doesn't bleed onto the other parts of the hair. Honestly, I didn't know there was going to be so many steps when I requested this rainbow hair. I thought they were just going to slap some color in and just call it a day and I thought it was going to be so easy. So I had no idea that it was actually going to take around 6 hours to get this done because I had already had previous pigment in my hair and of course um, it was going to be a little bit harder for us to get blues and greens. Then Mindy is coloring the top section pink and we let it process for a few minutes. Then after a couple minutes we headed over to the bowl to wash everything out. And here are some of the colors we're going to try to use for the rainbow. We're going to see what works the best. So we have some rainbow from Arctic Fox. We have Splat, Matrix, Pulp Riot, and also Pravana. And Joyco. Oh, this is Joyco. And Tony Moly, which is on my hair. Oh, this is Tony Moly. Mindy is about to start mixing the rainbow. And there she goes.
James and Mindy are both tag teaming to color my hair rainbow and there is so much anxiety at this point because I really wasn't sure what was happening on the back of my head and I had never done something so bold with my hair and I was still really nervous about how it would turn out. I know I've done so many hair colors in the past but doing rainbow was really really pushing my comfort zone with my hair and I think it was also pushing their comfort zone as well. Um, so yeah, we were all pretty nervous at this point. Ultimately, I think we used over six colors because instead of doing flat colors, James and Mindy would low light a specific color to give it more depth. And what that means is that, for example, for one section of colored hair, they would color the hair with two different shades of the same color to give it more dimension. And I thought that was such an amazing thing for them to do. And then each layer is covered in saran wrap so that the colors won't seep into each other. Afterwards, going over the footage of the back of my head, I was so blown away by the quickness and efficiency of what they were doing. I didn't realize that James actually went in and did different ombres for different colors when he saw necessary to make it more cohesive. So sometimes he would mix some yellow and ombre it with a pink or sometimes he would ombre a blue to a green and I don't know, I just thought that was so amazing because again, when I asked for this, I thought they would just be slapping on some rainbow colors and we would be just going on our merry way. But yeah, I think watching this footage really shows me how talented these people are. Then after all of that, we let down the top layer of my hair and let it process for a few minutes. Then we headed to the bowl to wash everything out and in order for the colors to not seep into each other, Mindy washed the dye out super quick and with cold water only. And this is the result. I think you can tell by my face and the smile in my eyes how happy I am with the turnout. And I am just so grateful to have such an amazing team of colorists and stylists to always be answering my ridiculous requests because I just think it's so fun to play around with hair and color. And I think it's even more fun to share it with you guys. One of my biggest goals for 2020 was to step outside of my comfort zone and to push the way that I presented myself. And as I mentioned, in the beginning of the video, I think I became very complacent with my appearance. I got very comfortable with certain colors and certain styles and I just wanted to feel excitement again over fashion and over color and so that's why going into 2020 I asked for this ridiculous hairstyle which I have wanted for over five years now but I was just too nervous to ask for it and to see how it would work out but I am so glad that going into 2020 I asked for something so exciting so again thank you so much to level one studio to Mindy to James make sure to check them out on Instagram Instagram. They are so talented and they are amazing friends as well and I love them so much. So that is another hair transformation down in the books. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in and for watching and I will see you guys again next time. I'm so happy. <laughs> he said, oh.